Today's tutorial is about parts of a circle. This is in preparation for the circle topics in grade 10 math. So this will serve as a review. Now to illustrate a circle, we need to start with a single point in a space. And let's name this point as point A. Again, let's identify another point in space and we call this point as point B. Now imagine these two points connect with each other. There, there is a specific distance between point A and point B. Now imagine other points that has the same distance as point A and point B. And until we fill all this gap, and now we call this, or we can create a shape we call circle. Where A is the center, and the distance between the center and all other points is called radius. Now, with this illustration, we can define circles as, or a circle is a set of all points in a plane that are equidistant from a given point called center of the circle. Now, we can use this symbol to represent a circle. Now, the line segment from the center of the circle to any point on the circle is called radius of the circle. Now, let's dig deeper into the parts of the circle. Again, let's consider circle A. And let's name, we know that all of these are points. Now, let's pop up one point and name it point B. Okay. Now, let's connect point A and point B. Now, we, ca we created segment AB. And segment AB is a radius. Remember that the segment can, is represented by this symbol. Now, to define radius again, it is a line segment from the center of the, of the circle to any point on the circle. So that is radius. Let's pop up another, uh, two other points. And this point, let's connect this and create a line segment. Let's name this line segment CD. Now, CD is a chord. Now, let's define a chord. A chord is a line segment joining two points on the circle. As long as the points or the endpoints of these segments are points on the circle, then it is considered as a chord. Now, let's try to pop up another point and name it point E and connect it to point B. Now, segment point B is also a chord. This chord has a special name. It is called a diameter. Now, a diameter is a chord that passes through the center of the circle. It is also the longest chord of the circle. So technically, all diameters are chord, but not all chords are diameters. Again, let's ha consider again point A to go to the next part of the circle. And let's pop up again yet, yet another point. Let's call this point, point B. Now, imagine that there's a line that passed through this point. That the, the, only the exact one point of the circle. Now, the line coplanar, or the line that we call this, let's name this line L. Now, this line is a line tangent to a circle. A line coplanar to a circle that intersect at only one point. Okay, there's a line and there's a circle and they share or they intersect at only one point. That is a, a line tangent to a circle. Now, point B is we call the point of tangency. So that's the point or that's the name of the point where, where they meet. It is the point of intersection of the tangent and the circle. Again, let's, how about if the line intersects in two points? Let's call this line P. Now, line P is a second. A line that intersects a circle at exactly two points. A second also contains a chord. And that is line segment GF. We name line as like this or we could just write F, G, and, and this figure at, above this letter. Now, I already pop up uh, one, two, three, four points on the circle 
with A as the center of the circle. Now I want you to focus on this this red line. It is a part of the circle, and we call this as an arc. It's obvious that you can I know that you can see arc in the entrance of the city, the exit of the city, or maybe in your door or in your gate. This is exactly where arc. The the this is arc is is actually a part of the circle. Now we name this one this arc this red one arc BC and this is how we illustrate it. Now arc BC is a minor arc. Now the definition of minor arc is an arc of a circle whose measure is less than that of a semicircle. Later I will tell you what is a semicircle. But I think by the definition by the name itself you can know that it is half of the circle because of the prefix semi. Or if you don't want to measure if you don't, if you're if you don't know if it is half of the circle, you could just make 180 degree as reference. Again, less than a semicircle or less than 180 degree. Now how about this one? We call this arc B C D. We can also name this as arc B E D. As long as the two end of the arc corresponds with the right letter. The middle letter doesn't really necessarily be the both of them. You could choose C or E. Now, this arc is a major arc. If the minor arc measures less than 180, the major arc measures greater than that of a semicircle or greater than 180 degree. Now, this line, I purposely write this, this line to divide the circle into two equal parts. So this part is 180 and this part is 180. So it is obvious that this arc is less than one is greater than 180. Now, now let's discuss the semicircle BCE. Arc BCE. So this is a semicircle. A semicircle is an arc measuring one half of the circumference of circle or an or an arc measuring 180 degree exactly 180 degree now let's use what the knowledge that we learned on the previous minutes and try to name all of all of the following let's start with the radius just refer to this figure let's start with the radii Radii is the plural of radius. We have here first is JA, that is segment JA. Be mindful of the symbol at the top. Or AJ, it could be AJ. AE, this one. Again, radius is from the center to, to point on a circle. And lastly is NA. You could just name A N A J A A E. Uh, doesn't matter which one, which letter is first. Now diameter, we only have one diameter, and that is J E. Endpoint J and E. For the chords, we can see three of it: L E or E L, J E. Again, all diameters are chord J E or E J. I'm sorry, I forgot to write the line uh, above it. And next is NE or EN. So these are the chords of on this illustration. A second, again, a second is a line that intersects a circle at exactly two points. And in this case, it is line A or line E EN. Now on tangent, it is a line that intersects the circle at exactly one point. That is line P. Now if I may ask you what is the point of tangency here, that is point L. Now minor arcs, you can identify many minor arcs. It could be LJ, JN, NE. EL or it could be LN this one so these are the minor arcs less than 180 degree 
major arcs, we could identify more than this, but I will provide four. L, N, E, N, E, L, and J, E, L. Lastly, we could, I could identify as well as J, E, N. So these are the examples of major arcs. I think I can name more than this. Now semicircle, we only have two. J, N, E. And J, L, E. Okay, that's the end of our review on the parts of the circle. I hope you like it. I hope you learned something today. And please do like and subscribe and share it to your friends. Goodbye.